integrating AI capabilities for test automation frameworks. This is future and it's gaining traction fast. So we are seeing a surge of new AI powered automation tools emerging into market with incredible features, right? Adopting these tools is an excellent choice if you are starting a project from scratch. However, if your project already have a test automation framework in place, then it's a different story because convincing managers to completely replace an existing framework just for sake of AI may not be the practical approach, right? Because it requires significant approvals, budget allocations, and something starting from scratch is not an easy. Instead, what if we propose integrating AI capabilities into the existing framework? This way, we enhance what we already have without need of complete overhaul. Sounds great, right? And I bet no one would object for it. So when I say integrating AI into frameworks, this is very broader topic, just like Pacific Ocean, right? There are a lot of things we can accomplish with AI, such as dynamic test data, auto-fixing test with self-healing locators, generate code from plain English language, smarter reports and test coverage analysis and much more. So today, let me pick small glass of water from this ocean on showing one of the capability of AI and how to integrate that into framework. But before I show you a demo, I just want to give you update that I'm traveling globally hosting in-person career focused software testing conferences. So visit qasummit.org to find out where you can meet Rahul Shetty next. So let's get to the YouTube to see this demo. So I would like to show you sneak peek on what we are trying to achieve before I show you a 30 minutes YouTube video where you can implement everything from scratch. Okay, so this is the page and I am using Playwright test automation framework here. Now, in this page, I want to know the price of tomato. So that means 37 and what is the discount price? 26 and there is no guarantee that tomato comes in the second row. So dynamically, uh, which names can change. So if you want to write a script for it in the traditional coding standards, this is how we will start with that we will try to identify the rows and filter it with tomato. And once you get it, then you travel to the third row where the discount price is there and you grab the text out of it. Okay. So it involves finding out the actual locator and applying filters and doing inside check again from the main locator. Little slight complex is what I would say. Now using AI, we can achieve it very fast. But do remember that here we are not using any special AI powered tools. This is straight playwright JavaScript framework and I am inside the Visual Studio. So that means I am proposing a solution of hybrid framework which involves your normal playwright APIs plus AI power. Okay. So now for the same test, I am going to show you another example that this is how I will do it. What is the discount price of tomato? I'll bring AI function in place and I'll ask this question. So here seven step number seven, eight are playwright steps only step number 10 also playwright step. So within playwright framework, if I feel that there is a complexity involved in writing the code, I will simply use AI power to replace it by just asking what is the discount price of tomato and then it will go here and get me 26 and I'm using same assertion again to check 26. So let me quickly run this test called AI test capability from the playwright test runner. So from this runner, I will just execute it. And now you see that what is this kind price of tomato? The AI step has been executed inside the playwright and it is able to get the actual results. You see that test is passed. Because you are asking that whatever price you got into one variable from AI, you want to validate with it 26, right? That assertion has been checked here that it is matching with 26 and your test is passed. So that's how you can inject your AI step within your playwright test cases. Okay. So that way I want to propose a solution of hybrid framework, which involves 
existing Playwright test framework with AI capabilities. So here I have shown standalone test for understanding purpose. In real time, you will wrap this code in page object standards, right? That's different story. Not just that. So you can go step ahead and declare everything how you want. Click that button, add a button. All that you can ask in plain English. Whenever you see there is a complexity involved in writing Playwright JavaScript code, you can use plain English, right? So look at here, another interesting scenario. So now I landed in this web page. I want the left of it, which is free access to interview questions. Okay. For that, I have to grab this text. I have to split it with a slash and I need to get before element. This involves a good amount of JavaScript code, right? But here I'm smartly asking AI, get me the blinking text in the page. See, I'm still in playwright. First, I landed with page.goto method and I'm asking to get blinking text. Once I get a text, I am putting assertion whether this is the text, right? And next, I'm asking to sp split this text because whatever it grabbed when I asked blinking text, I stored in variable. And I am asking in plain English, split it with this delimiter and give me the zeroth index value, right? It will take care of all that work and it gives you the before element, which is free access to interview question. And you can again use general playwright assertion to do it. So my overall point here is to tell that we can have hybrid framework as well. So wherever we see there is a complexity in the code logic, if AI can do that with is, why can't we use that power capability into our existing framework, right? So demo. Now I know you guys are interested to see how to implement it from scratch. So for that, I created 30 minutes video where we can see everything setting up and implementing that. So go to YouTube Rahul Shetty Academy channel and here you will see a video called AI capabilities NLP integration to playwright test automation framework. NLP stands for natural language processing. So that is the capability we are going to see in this video with the help of one external library. So that's about it. In the next episode, I'll come up with another interesting topic on AI testing. Till then, signing off.